the revival is there is there lift up your hands the revival is there people are coming out of destruction people are coming out of limitation uh-huh and i had in my spirit rebrat rebat refresh renewer and you're gonna come forth like a brand new baby after this weekend did you hear me i said you're gonna come forth like a brand new baby your ministry your business your career your family everything that is stuck where you are concerned i see things being flipped around are you ready you know there are people under the sound of my voice that you have not you have not literally recovered since covid something happened to your mind but i declare as a prophet of god after this weekend let me announce it you are back okay you know there's a response of amen but there's another response which i prefer is an agalio response wait i speak as one saint of god to help a generation ascend beyond the natural and express in the supernatural after this weekend you are back You are back. You are back. And you know when God says you are back, you need to understand that God saying you are back is not like the natural you are back. There's a natural you are back and there's a what? A supernatural you are what? You are back. You are back naturally means you are back to where you are naturally but supernaturally when god says you are back it means you have come to a place you've never been to i'm going to show you a few scriptures to show you to give you a picture of how get how god gets you back Psalm 126 says when the lord returned the captivity of zion in fact that makes it clear what god is about to do is the only one that can do it yes, your boss can't do it the most connected man in your family can what can't do it don't you never say this is a job for El Shaddai come on yell he said this is a job for El Shaddai for when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream our mouth was with what laughter and our tongue with what singing because the lord has what he has done great things can you scream great things <laughs> so i want you to picture that you are back not from the point of where you are when you are doing good but from the point of where you have never been to before can you picture it can you see with the high of your spirit I want you to shout and back but this and back is not natural back it's supernatural and back shout it seven times and after the seven time i want you to agalio it some assault it jump up it run around with it can you start and back one two three go that you thought is dead is back is back 
oh my god that's a word for somebody you are, they've not been calling you for weeks but you are back supernaturally a book of remembrance is being opened where that business is concerned and clients will begin to call you from everywhere your whole boss will send for you can you come back but don't, you are not coming back on the level you were in before you are coming back on a higher level everybody that has done business with you at one time or the other they're going to seek after you like never before do you know the reason I am back What a wah! What a wah! I said, What a wah! If you are in social media, your new status should be I am back! I'm back! can't silence me I'm back you know we live in a generation where people believe in where people believe in canceling others you know they can just wake up one day and say this preacher we will cancel you so they will start putting that sitting in, in on Twitter and you know they have a gang and they will tell the members of their gang by the way I hope nobody's here is part of such gang that is a cost gang for you to commit to the downfall of others number one you are stupid number two you are extremely foolish and number three you are deeply cost should I sound it again yes, your commitment to the downfall of others implies you are stupid extremely stupid extraordinarily foolish and largely cost we don't do that we bless we don't cost we we lift people up oh my god you didn't hear me we what lift people we don't join conversation where people are being brought down we excuse ourselves and if there's an opportunity to put them in order we try that but if you realize that some people the people you are dealing with are past redemption you know there are some cases that are past redemption I can give you some examples in the scripture two of the disciples of Jesus Judas and Peter there was a Judas that has past redemption in fact the scripture literally says he says Satan has filled his heart so what did Jesus say, say uncle what do you have to do what do you have to do do what quickly get out go, go and do it you are past redemption but there's still folks like peter that the enemy has desire to sift that you can what you can help pull out is an is an anti-kingdom mo we don't cancel we raise people but listen when god says you are back let the whole world come together and gang against you. All the influential influencers or whatever they call themselves, let them gang against you. There is nothing they can do about it. It means you are back. Now, can you turn to your neighbor with an attitude? Black people are known for attitude. Use it now. No, don't, please, please. Don't, not flat black. Oh the kind of I'm back that has character come on turn to your neighbor tell him I, I said give give show attitude I'm, I'm look at me I'm back if I go at least to seven people and announce it prophetically I'm back I am back I am back I said I'm back there's nothing anybody can do about it I am 
are you ready for God this afternoon? Are you ready to walk in your destiny to manifest your prophecy? Jump up and shout, I am back one more time. Do you know what? As you are jumping up, I had in my spirit the next song you're going to be singing because your back is what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all what the Lord has done for me. Wait, wait, wait. I know he saved you, but this time around, let me give you my, you know I'm a psalmist, it's just that you don't believe. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot. Now wait for the line. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot. He flipped me and raised me up. What the Lord What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot. He raised me and set me up. What the Lord has done for me. First word I had in my spirit was he flipped. And I was wondering why flip? And the Lord spoke to me. He said, For some of you, it's not just race. You are so upside down. That the first thing we have to do was what? Flip. Oh my God. Mm, you didn't have me. That's somebody's word for this afternoon. You are so upside down. So you first it's not just race. There's nothing to raise. You are so down. So the first thing, we have to what? Flip you. I see somebody literally having such experience in this season. He will pick you. Boom, boom, me. Ah. By the time he flips you, people that thought they knew you, They'll be like, the first thing will be, they will be arguing, is it you, is it not you? Let me tell you a true life story. Several years ago, this should be like 18 years or thereabout, I was on TV, uh, LTV or whatever. So, I did the broadcast, maximizing your, your life. And apparently one of the people that watched it was one of my mates in high school. So when he saw it... He said, this person looks like somebody I know. Even the name looks like it. So after the broadcast, he sent me an email. 
by the way i was so blessed by your broadcast and i just want to let you know so that i went to school with your brother because he said but when i saw you know i think it was a facebook message so i could see so i saw his face i said ah, no it's not he's me do you know after i replied that he's me he did not bother to reply again because you know they, there's a way god will raise you and you begin to intimidate people because he knew me the boy i knew is ibadan boss high school <laughs> that one so easy ah no i would be embarrassed to now talk to him if he's already like that i speak as a prophet of god the hand of god will come upon you so much in this season that your story will so much change and your new face will begin to reflect your prophecy you know there was a time joseph was in prison but his prophecy was palace a flip happened because that was more than a race it was first of all what a flip how can somebody who was in prison now be rolling with the king to the point that he will say i'm the lord of pharaoh even the king submits to me he submits to my counsel he's the the uh, what you call it the figure figurehead i'm the real head i run egypt because I've been flipped. Are you ready? Please take the next three days seriously. What did I say? If you have to walk half day on Tuesday and Wednesday, please. Do you know the instruction? Come in by six, be praying. So that when the service starts at 6 30, you already prayed up. Are you listening to me? mark my words everyone that takes this seriously get on your knee I, I saw something in my spirit i speak as a prophet of god everyone that received this instruction coming from god's prophet seriously i declare you will be multiplied in fact what i'm about to say blows my mind but i will say it a thousand times I'm not if you are ready for a thousand times multiplication. Then sit down. Then you are ready. This is not business as what? Usual. God is moving. I mean, he could do. I don't care if it's your Republic of Benin. Get your boat here. Are you listening to me? If somebody tells you, I'm going to give you $10,000 and I need to see you at 6 30 p.m., <laughs> if you have to wake up at 3 a.m. to walk from Ikorodu, to carry center some of you will do it two of us excuse is a proof that what you are giving excuse about is not as important hmm. did you hear me people give excuse because they don't prioritize what is at hand when people value they go to any length they do anything to ensure that what needs to be done is done okay very briefly i'm going to be sharing with you a word that god gave me you know god woke me up this morning and he started talking to me about the blessing you know i love this god there are times you you would think he's giving me all those revelation for you only to realize it's for me so he fed me very well this morning so by the time I now got here, I now narrowed down what is for you. So I can't give you everything. I'll just give you what is for you, which is a fraction. He has fed me very well. So I'll just give you your part. I'm going to be speaking this morning on what I call the blessing that restores. The blessing that what? Restores. Somebody shout the blessing that restores. Write it down. The blessing that restores. Why is that word? The blessing that restores because somebody under the sound of my voice needs to be restored the blessing that what restores what does it mean to restore to restore means to return back to return back you know there was a time the city of david was invaded and you know 
the ladies and the kids were taken away. And the Bible says, when David came around, sick like right, when he came around, the Bible says, is it for Samuel 30? David was so broken that he wept till he had no strength to weep. Media help me, is that for Samuel 30? He wept what? He had no strength to what? To weep. And some of us have been through phases like that. That in the natural, it feels like you are finished. You are done. Am I going to pick up the fragments of my life? What I've built for 15 years, what I've built for 10 years, what I've built for all my adult life has just disappeared. And it's only natural to feel hopeless. Has anybody been there before? Where am I going to start again? And that's why some people even commit suicide. Because they're like, I cannot do it. And do I agree with you? Yes, you cannot do it. So, if, 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 at all, if, 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 if for anything, we agree on one thing. You cannot do it. Because what you built by yourself for years has just been destroyed. How many years are you going to need to rebuild it? And some of us, naturally speaking, it does not even seem we have those years again. Because the Bible says the glory of the young man is their strength. Can you imagine the things you built in your prime when you have all the strength? When you have all the energy? When you had all the connections? And bam, something just happened. A policy, you know, a new government, a regime, a, 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 a stupid regime or a demonic regime or, you know, just release some policy. I, I remember several years ago, a lot of people that were doing uh, car, 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 car sales, uh, auto, 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 auto sales business in America, especially Nigerians in America who would send cars to Nigeria. Some of them were sending multiple cars every week. In fact, they had, a, they had almost every member of their family employed working for them, you know, clearing out the port. Everybody was doing fine. You, that's why you see boys changing car every week. They clear it, so they use it for themselves. First of all, before they sell it, they were shiny and girls were falling for them. And all of a sudden, what happened? I am not know what I'm talking about. What happened? I will say with all audacity. You know, few, I think that very month when Buari was installed, I was in Nigeria and I saw a vision. Those of you that were around me, you would know. I saw a vision and in that vision, I saw a, a dark cloud over the nation. And the Lord spoke to me, you have just installed a demon. You are quiet. It was a demon. We, that man brought legions of what? Demons. Sh everything that was working, he shut it down. Of course, we knew there were a lot of things we needed to fix as a nation, but it took us over 20 years back. How many of you agree with me? Because his regime was demonic. Caught me everywhere. If you know him personally, call him and tell him, Your, my pastor said you were a demonic regime. Because God told me. I told my pastor. I said this is what I saw. This man is dark. He's dark. He's dark. People lost their businesses. Am I talking about they, You know things that were. People that were doing so. A bunch of people that had to relocate to United Kingdom and Canada. In the last few years. You know they did not. It did not cross their mind to relocate. Before Dwari came. Because they were doing fine. Through of us. Through fine, they, they, they had prospects, they, they saw a bigger future, and all of a sudden, all manner of demonic policies were brought in. The tariff uh, for the seaport was increased to a point now that what we call Tokumbo is the car that the Japa people have used and dropped. That's the new Tokumbo because hardly I, I, I remember I was thinking of bringing one of my cars to the country from the states. Uh, was it last year or so? I just just let me ask, how much will it take to clear it? Uh, it was like twelve thousand dollars. I said, Ah, okay, let it sit there. I'm like, How much is the car? Even what? Crazy policies, senseless policies, policies that the only way you can come up with it is that you and demons are sitting together. 
because if you know how many families were benefiting from that auto sales wherever i'm not even know what i'm talking about selling car you'll be shocked there were families that were literally shut down because of some of those policies and that's just in one sector in so many sectors so people lost people lost they lost the source of their income it was our marriages broke as a result because let me tell you something there's a direct relationship between finances and marriage they say ah we love each other does not matter whether we are broke or we are not broke when you are broke you will realize that your marriage is under pressure especially when you have children you know women women there are things that women can endure for themselves but when it comes to their children all the women in the house shout amen, amen. when it comes to their children it's like yeah if it's me and you fine my children no way no way no way no way so families were under pressure people lost so many things but by the way that is not a reason to jack i would say it now somebody was telling me that a lot of people find you got to believe you because after all you jack i did not jack i was sent so if you use jack for me you have sinned god spoke to me i did not jack god jam me i saw a vision and he told me the location and to prove to you that i did not jack i didn't travel to start practicing pharmacy i'm a pharmacist by profession i was in pharmacy school before most of you were born the pharmacy school in 1988 please don't raise your hands it's okay if you are not born before then i was a pharmacist but the lord said i need you somewhere else in an apostolic capacity and the proof that he sent me is this how many times do you see people leave this country travel to another country and their ministries where they left kept on multiplying the pastors that japa their ministry struggle yeah. after they leave True. That's one of the ways to know whether God is sending your, your man of God or your man of God is sending God. <laughs> it's what happens after. To the glory of God, I left. I left barely 100 people. All together. And the story has been multiplication ever since then. From one level to another. And one of the things that most people can understand is how can somebody not live in Nigeria and yet be highly influential in Nigeria? And it's not because I promote myself. It's simply because I went on an assignment. And so he had to ensure that my home will still be relevant even while I'm not there. Are you listening to me? But, but back to the point people lost stuff the economy the policies you know i know people that had multiple properties in abuja in port Harcourt, in lagos in dubai who had to move out of the country in the last eight years and now some of them are suffering in canada in fact one of them spoke to me two weeks ago he said even not for my children i'm on my way out and by the way, some of your friends that you think you are doing good, they are not doing good. They are just ashamed to tell you. Because the truth of the matter is that most of the, most of the places they went to, they just have enough to pay bills. And maybe and a lot of debt in most cases. But there were people that God sent. Don't get me wrong. God just certain people. But there are a lot of people that just jarred themselves. Some people jarred themselves and they lost their marriage. I still spoke to somebody yesterday who called me because the husband walked away last year and they ja 2022. So they said, Pastor, the marriage is done. The man has become an animal. You know, you are protected in your space. Should I say it again? Your protection is in that allocated space God has given you okay so having said that life happen things happen worry happens and people lose things but listen 
there is a God who is obsessed with restoring whatever has been lost. Hmm. Write it down. My God is obsessed with my restoration. Hey, that's a heavy word. Write it, write it down. And after writing it, I'm, I'm in my office as a prophet right now. I want you to write all the things that must be restored. Though. For example, me. There are things I have on my list. You think I'm doing well? There are things that I'm like, I can do better. Write it, write it, write it. There's an angel here looking at your list. And it will ensure anything that is on your list is taken care of. When you are done writing it, stand up. Don't be under duress to stand up. We'll make sure you have written all the things. And if you are one of his obedient that was not writing, it's okay. Just sit down. Forever. Write, write, write. It seems a lot of you have a lot of things to write to. Write, write, write. All the things that were taken that must be returned back. Write it. Write it. Is it ministry wise? Is it family wise? Is it money wise? Is it marriage wise? Is it children wise? Write it. These are the things. I should not be away from me, but I will. If, nobody is standing up now. I say, if you are done writing your list, stand up. The list must be very long ago. Because I'm about to make a declaration that when you are done. Your hair, nothing missing, nothing broken. I get it. Yeah, write it, write it down. By now, you should be married. And you are not married. Write it. Restore. Marriage. The guy, the girl I was high. Said, I'm an economic risk. And your girl was taken away. And you, got, you knew the day was she got married. Ah, you are still writing. I want to pray. The release is long. But you should have finished by now, of all people. How many things do you have to write? Boy, it's not done. You are still writing. It's only doing that. God bless the good women of. If I will start Good Women Club, you'll be the one, two, three, four. Only women. Where are the men? Men. Ah. Okay, your husband has joined you. Okay, thank God. Men are waking up. Taye. Ah. The list must be many. Tony. I thought you had everything in place now. <laughs> like, no. your husband has finished. Uh -huh. Everybody for himself, right? <laughs> Steve, you have everything. Uh, you are supernatural. You are light. You are fire. You are everything. Okay. 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 Me with the clear, shall? Because you see, some people want to write essay. I started in my office as a prophet of God. God gave me this prophetic word to declare over you. That wherever and whatever was taken away from you. By the hand of God. By the wisdom of God. By the favor of God. He said they did not gain the possession of the land by their own hand. But it was your right hand, your arm and the light of your countenance. By the resources of heaven, I declare whatever was taken from you must be restored. Hmm. I'm not kidding. No, I mean it. Too. There's an unusual anointing on me today to restore somebody. There's someone under the sound of my voice. Your lady should have been married, but for some reason, the right man did not see you. God told me, he said, in six months, a man will be ready to marry you. Yeah. Whatever should be yours, business-wise, ministry-wise, marital-wise, that was forcefully taken from you, I announced by the Holy Ghost, restore. Yeah. Mark my words. Wow. The Lord told me, he said, there's a business you should have gotten. You are so, I'm talking to you. He said, you are so sure. But all of a sudden, last minute, something flipped. And they decided to go another way. The Lord told me to tell you they are coming back. 
The Lord told me, say, when they come back, they will say, we made a mistake. Should have been you. Because the person they gave you to will not be able to deliver. And now it will be your turn to charge them more. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Ma Somebody shall restore! Somebody shall restore! Hey, there is an anointing of restoration on me this afternoon. Somebody shall restore! The prophetic anointing upon my life is to bat in some cases and to restore in some cases. But today, God of God told me, say, focus on restore. Whatever was taken from you, I stand in the authority of Jehovah. In my office as a prophet of God, as one sent by God to raise men out of dunghill and put them in palace i declare by the power of the holy cause by the favor of god by the wisdom of god i declare restore 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 there is a god that is obsessed with restoration He's so obsessed with restoration that says, even if a thief steals because he's hungry, and we understand he was hungry, he was forced to steal, but he's more restored. And when he restores, when he's caught, we will not excuse him. In fact, he must not just bring back what he stole, it must be sevenfold. I declare for everything that thief caused Satan. The Bible says the thief come but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life. In other words, life is what God, God kind of life, is what God transacts with to ensure your restoration. The incorruptible, indestructible life that majors in restoration. Jesus says, I brought that life. I declare by that life every destruction every mortality receives immortality you restore oh what an anointing restore restore I want you to take three steps forward and shall restore Restore. 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 Get angry. Get angry. You have been on that level for too long. Restore. 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 I say restore. Restore. May me lossy. Bemi lo si ibi kika holu ajo wa bemi soke. Lift up your hands and say, Bemi lo si ah agasuta barala ya ya ya. be seated just have a few minutes and i will declare because i say i have to go to abel Kuta. listen god is obsessed with restoration and when god restores he does not put it back where it was he makes it better Agai chapter 2 verse 9 he said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former they thought they ruined the former but God says, what I will give you in latter, we surpass the former. 
so god's restoration is different from human's restoration when human restores they take it back when god brings it back he brings it back with interest okay let's go to Romans chapter 5 Romans chapter 5 is full of scriptures that I need you to meditate on in the next 72 hours in the next 72 hours listen let's start from verse 9 Romans chapter 5 verse 9 I want you to chew these scriptures because they all talk about how God restores by the way do you know redemption is a form of restoration and re re redemption is bigger than creation because at creation man was made in God's image in redemption man was put in God <laughs> it's not just it does not just look like God he's in God he's so much in God that the Bible says man a new creation now and God our own spirit Look at it. Can, we, can we read verse 9 together? One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah, raise your volume. Raise your volume. One, two, three. In other words, what's happened to you through the first Adam is nothing compared to what you now have in Christ Jesus. Now, if you go to verse 8, you will get the picture. Go to verse 8, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. He said, But God demonstrated his love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He now says in verse 9, He said, Much more then. Now, much more is from two Greek words, polus and malon. And polus, from which much was translated from means largely abundantly plenty and more from the Greek word malon means greater degree he said to a greater to largely <laughs> greater degree hey. to what largely greater degree you have been justified by his blood in other words your level is much higher you are a sinner but now you are not just a forgiving sinner you are a sinner who is now one with christ much more much more now go to verse 10 romans chapter 5 verse 10 in fact you know i found five much more in Romans 5 alone. Verse 10. Can we read it? One, two, three, go. So what we stand to enjoy because of what Jesus did is largely to a greater degree compared to where we were before Adam sinned. He said we are saved by his life. Much more. Beyond the damage caused by the first man. Much more. We have capacity to enjoy the eternal life of God. Bringing salvation. And saved there from the, Hebrew, from the Greek words to so It's not just talking about not going to hell. It talks about every aspect of life. There is a life. That is available for us in redemption that causes everything to be saved he saves your family he saves your pocketbook he saves your body <laughs> he saves everything much more now go to verse 15. verse 15. can we read that largely to a higher degree grace of God and the gift of grace through the one man Jesus Christ abounded to you much more verse 20 and verse 19 verse 17 
Let's do 17 for 17. 17, then we do 20. Verse 20 now. As I, I'm going to come to a conclusion. Much more. So what do I say? You are a much more species. Much more. Much more. Much more. Much more. So I announce by the Holy Ghost, you are in a season of what? Much more. So stop meditating on what you lost. Start anticipating much more. Wake up every day. <laughs> much more is happening. <laughs> much more is happening. <laughs> I've got the Holy Ghost. I've got the life of God. I'm in a much more mode. I'm not going to weep over what was taken. Because I know in me there is a capacity not just to get back what was taken but to have even more than what was taken i shared some testimonies with you yesterday how i got to philippines and uh the the, the, the there's a couple i prayed for eight years ago and for some reason i just remember so i called the pastor because the pastor is a brother to the the, the couple you know they were in their 40s married for several years without children and my heart just because they were with me in most of my trips in that particular year so i said so i prayed for them probably prophesied and i left so when i went back last weekend in manila i asked the, the brother how is your sister i didn't want to be too forward to say has anything happened because she was 48 then and he said oh pastor i forgot to tell you they have children now no child children he said the following year she had triplets much more another person was talking to me three days ago he said i remember several years ago you came around i've been married and my, my husband and i were, were struggling to, to to have kids and you turned around and said it's time for you to have children he said do you know i conceived immediately and it was twins much more much more so we don't meditate on what was taken we meditate on what is coming and God told me to tell you, much more is coming. Do you believe this prophets? I said much more is coming. Much more is coming. Much more is coming. Oh, you are in a relationship that you, you think had so much benefits. But something happens to the relationship. And it's like, oh, I don't even talk to the person again. How am I going to get businesses? God told me. He said, I'm bringing a village to you. And what you will get in this new season will be much more. Businesses restored home restored there's somebody your marriage is about to fall apart god told me you your marriage is not going to go to a whole new level of excitement that people will now begin to call you to counsel people that are having problem in marriage oh am i touching something that relates to somebody you have a struggling business god says i'm about to open a new line for you i saw in my spirit a new line of product products you've never dealt with and we give you higher yield than you have ever tasted in your life and with less effort you will have more resolve more profit Ability because you are in these seasons of much more. For when the Lord turned against the captivity of Zion, were like them that dream, and mouth was filled, laughed and a tongue with singing. Then they said among the hidden, The Lord, get on your feet. The Lord, the Lord that specializes in much more, send me to you to this afternoon to say, Get ready for much more. Much more. Everything that was shut down, God told me, He said, We are waking it up now. Can you imagine if Isaac had left Gerald because of famine? How would he have discovered the wells that his father dug that were covered up? Every well that is assigned to you that has been covered up by one evil force or the other. I declare in this season, the first thing that will happen to you is that you will recognize them. And the second thing is that you will have capacity to dig them. And as you are digging them, you will have the tenacity to stay with the digging until you get to your real ball. Can you scream much more? We are not a people that give up so easily. Much more. 
let me share a story as I close. I think I shared it briefly yesterday. I met a man last year. January was brought to me because the Lord gave me a word for him as a prophet. So it was brought to me in my hotel room in Dallas. And I looked in his face. I said, you are out of the will of God. He said, you have allowed situations and circumstances to shift you away from God for your life but the Lord told me I'm giving you a new window of opportunity I said but that window is a very very small window you can't blow it and I gave him some instructions that I will not give I will go into details I said do this do this do this then on top of it I want you to come to Chicago because God told me relaunch him so he said okay I will come to God the long man to, to to cut the long story short October last year because he's a music minister we put something together not so many people maybe between 100 and 200 at most came but we were just following instruction and there was just an electric anointing in the atmosphere and as it was going on I got the microphone and I stood before everybody I said the Lord told me to tell you that this atmosphere is going to go forth from this space to million homes millions of homes all over the world and i say you few hundreds that are here today we say i am glad i was there somebody is wondering what are you talking about gabriel is here she. media can you assess if possible, can you access my page and play that small clip before I close? There's a, there's a clip that, I mean, I think they posted it. My Instagram page, if you can. That's where she said. Ah, hey, this kind God. Another one, no deal. Pew, the breath of God came upon it. And before you know it, nations began to call for him not a single dime was used for promotion that is how god restores he still called me a few days ago he said pastor uh, summer blast we must do it together he's not coming he does not even know he will sing smart man some other people will say hey, pastor can i minister he just said me and my wife we must start the conference with you it's me that now told them that they should put him on the flyer i've not even told him he will sing smart man January this year, I was in Cali. I was in Texas. He came, drove like one and a half hours to see me at the Plan Ministers Conference. He said, "Sir, I can't start my year without you." I know how God relaunched me. In fact, then the video had not been released though, because immediately after the program, things started happening. So he was still thinking in the light of what has happened so far, not knowing another thing is cooking. So he came. He said, "Sir, I don't want to travel anywhere." And that's another thing we will deal with tomorrow on Tuesday and Wednesday. Can you touch your head and say covenant sale? Pastor, I said, I don't want to travel anywhere. I don't want to start taking invitation in 2024 until you lay hands on me. I was even thinking I can lay hands on you. He said, No, ah, that's not no. He said, Me and my wife, we will buy tickets. Some of you that are looking for shortcuts, he said, We will buy tickets fly to chicago to be with you a weekend he was not lobbying for ministration huh. you know i see some creatives mm, oh, lock, oh, lock. you are connecting to a pastor so that he can open door for you as if he's god in fact there's something you need more than his door so it was me that now told the person in charge of program says, okay, Gabriel is coming that weekend. Put him on the flyer. So it was later, I now told him, say, well, minister, I said, oh, okay. So he came. And in front of everybody, first week of February, he's still online. I lay hands on him. He said, I release you. I relaunch you. Go forth and dominate your space. Two months after, it was released. Media, are you able to access it? almost i want you to play it so that everybody can see it that's how god restores his voice just everybody gabriel gabriel we need you 
and if you know what happened to him years ago you will know that is God at work because he was literally cancelled they cancelled him in this state this this city I won't go into it a man of God cancelled him he was cancelled so if a man of God cancels you and God says no I want to restore you <laughs> between between man of God and God who is bigger biggest stage cancelled him they said he misbehaved did not do the right thing and he told me he said it affected me I shut down within but the Lord told me he said relaunch him boom I want to give you this picture so that you will capture it that something I see a generation running people people will now be like hey, slow down I say I can't I can't help it are you ready media are you close I can't hear them they are ready I hope it's not there's somebody when he says close close that means close me one hour in the meantime can you can you put your hands on your head and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost we will watch it together and I see you running into your destiny whatever you think you lost bam speed is coming speed to recover there is a blessing that restores that gives you capacity to revisit wells that have been shut down until you experience real bots pray in the Holy Ghost pray in the Holy Ghost pray in the Holy Ghost okay You can go ahead. You can shoot it. It's okay. Glory to God. Of course, they said they are ready. I mean, they are ready. I hope you are praying in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Masuta Grianda Gaya. Rest is a God that restores. Listen, mark my words, this video is going to go to millions of homes all over the world. And you will see it and you will say, I was there. of you have seen it before now that's how it happens the breath of God was on that moment and bam God took his voice to nations again now bigger than he was before and do you know the amazing thing it was not even on his song that he wrote he was not the one that wrote it the person that wrote the song is not even that popular. Of course, Gabriel has done some amazing songs. Haka, Hakaya, that's his song. You know, when God wants to prove himself, 
he will pick something that does not look like it and blow it that's god's idea of restoration lift up your hands everybody get on your feet i declare in this season the blessing of god is invading your space to ensure everything and anywhere and every space where you experience loss you are restored there father we thank you wave your hands all over this place the lord told me he said the restoration has begun oh my god i said the restoration has begun somebody will get to his office space tomorrow and you will see proof of restoration you begin to receive emails whatsapp messages you will be remembered in the right spaces uh, there's somebody here you did something that did not please someone that was very instrumental in whatever you're doing and as a result of that the person shut down all of a sudden i see that person reaching back to you and say let's forget the past let's move on in fact i have bigger things to do with you right now that is god's idea of restoration lift up your two hands and shout restoration there's somebody under the sound of my voice you thought you would need to travel out to get that particular thing done but the lord told me he said without having to travel out you will have opportunity to do it right here it will come to you you won't have to go to them i declare in your space in your field in your environment the restoration of god will be experienced are you ready for restoration can you congratulate your neighbor?